just swept under the rug. Redacto's going to uh, negotiate it out and hopefully give him a slap on the wrist. And supposedly a holy man who, who turned something that was pure into, into something that's pornographic. And a lawyer for one of the victims says he no longer deserves to be called a rabbi. Prosecutors fear he may try to travel to Israel. He does not have dual citizenship, but the judge today put a restriction on Rabbi Frendel traveling out of the country. Reporting live, Mike Heldman, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Now, prosecutors are setting up a website for victims to give them information about the next court hearing in the case and where they can receive counseling. The FBI is now involved in the search for a missing Baltimore County teenager. Gigi Barnett's live in the newsroom with more on the missing girl. Gigi? Well, Mary, the FBI and Baltimore County police are asking for the public's help to find Jasmine Baker. The 12-year-old was last seen yesterday morning leaving her home in White Marsh and headed to Perry Hall Middle School. Detectives say she never arrived. Jasmine has brown hair with a red and blonde streak. She was last seen wearing blue jeans and a brown jacket. And anyone with information about where Jasmine may be should call Baltimore County Police or Baltimore FBI Office at 410-265-8080. Mary, back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you. Images of Jasmine are also being flashed on electronic billboards across the region. A tragedy and a mystery for the Baltimore City Fire Department tonight. A veteran firefighter is found dead in a house hours after responding to a fire. WJZ is live near the scene in East Baltimore. Rick Ritter has the unanswered questions about his death. Rick? And Denise, we spoke with the victim's family who, as you can imagine, is torn apart. Officials dispatched Lieutenant James Bethea to the scene to investigate, but later found the firefighter dead inside a vacant home. It's a numb feeling Darlene Bethea wishes wasn't reality. I'm still numb. That's why I'm able to even talk right now, because I can't express it through tears, because I, I have to hold up for my parents. Just hours after her brother, 40-year veteran Lieutenant James Bethea, is found dead, she opens up the WJZ. So we just loved him dearly. Um, I just still can't believe that I'm standing here talking to you about my brother. It all started around 1230 Wednesday morning. Flames erupt along the 700 block of East North Avenue. Baltimore City Fire Department dispatched a safety officer and 40-year veteran, Lieutenant James Bethea, to the vacant home to investigate. It was later this morning that someone discovered this vehicle was still at the scene. Uh, we returned, then returned back to the scene. Just hours later, the horrifying news starts to spread. This is a, a very somber morning. Um, for the family of um, Baltimore City Fire Department. Officials say the fire started in this vacant home right here when Lieutenant Bethea was responding to the unit next door. That's where they found him dead inside the basement hours after he responded. Hey, hey. Sky Eye Chopper 13 was on scene when investigators removed Bethea's yeah, body from the home and were starting a procession down the street. The family finds a kind guy, a loving, gentle father who was extremely intelligent and had a strong passion for his job. He will just miss us all. Anyone who knew him, he'll truly miss it. Officials are still trying to determine how Bethea died, whether there was an accident or if he died of natural causes. That's